God bless you out there, YouTube land. God bless you all there. God bless America. God bless YouTube Spiritual Christ Cyberspace here. Coming to you today. Shalom. I got my sock hat on. And back in the 60s when I lived in West Frankfort, Illinois, wearing a sock hat wasn't too cool back in good old 60s days. It might have been cold here in L.A. and Chicago and New York, but back that was before the hip-hop generation was born. You know, the hip-hoppers now is, it kind of took the sock hat as their official hip-hop, uh, probably, uh, piece there, but put on the videos. That back in the old days, we had to hop, step, and jump. We didn't have the hip-hop generation wasn't born yet. The hip-hop wasn't, but so anyway... I'm coming to you from the Easter Brethren headquarters in Pinkneville, Illinois. I got some new revelation from heaven that uh, God told me to release now. It's a prophecy in Iran and Syria will be nuked by the United States of America and Israel. In July of 2006, the God of Israel has shown me in a dream that Israel will nuke Damascus, Syria, and United States of America will nuke Tehran, Iran. That I've seen this in the dream. And I'm going to read out of the Bible prophecy. that predicted this over 2,600 years ago. It's in Isaiah chapter 17 verses 1 through 6. And when Israel nukes them here, it'll be real soon here. When Israel nukes uh, Damascus here. Here's the Bible prophecy. The burden of Damascus, behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city. It shall be a ruinous heap. The cities are, are forsaken. They shall be flocks which shall lie down, and then shall make them afraid. The fortress also shall cease from Ephraim, and the kingdom from Damascus, and the remnant uh, of Syria. They shall be as the glory of the children of Israel, saith the Lord of hosts. And in that day shall come to pass, that the glory of Jacob shall be made thin, and the fatness of his flesh shall lean, wax shall wax lean, and it shall be as when the harvestman gathers the corn and reapers the ears with his arm, and it shall be as he that gathers ears in the belly of Raphim. Yet gleaning grapes shall be left in it, as the shaking of the olive tree, two or three berries in the top of the uttermost bar, four or five in the uttermost. Fruitful branches there, and says the Lord God of Israel. We see what's happening now. That Iran's beating the war drums, and I think things will speed up when the United States Armed Forces leave Iraq at the end of 2011. That things are really speeding up. 2012, uh, Iran can make a move to try to attack Israel. Maybe they're going to uh, uh, Syria and Turkey. But anyway, the dream today was a prophecy I had in July. Old six, five years ago, and in this dream, I see Israel nuke uh, Damascus, Syria, wipe it off the map, and I see United States of America nuke Tehran, Iran, got completely wiped off the map. So, you know, this is Bible prophecy uh, being fulfilled. God's appointed time, 2011. This is going to happen on Isaiah chapter 17 when Isaiah prophesied it was been over 2,600 years ago, but. Today, the most important thing, we're going to talk, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. I was 22 years old when I got saved. Jesus saved my soul. And I was at church and I heard the preacher talk about hell and it scared the hell out of me. And I didn't want to go to hell, a terrible place where I wouldn't want my enemies to go, gnashing, gasping teeth, total darkness where the worm dies not, spiritual torment, but the real hell and hell is what... Separation from Jesus Christ. So today, if you don't know Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, make a decision. Jesus returning soon. There's not much time left. Say this prayer with me today. Let Jesus save your soul. I plead with you. Oh God, have mercy on our souls. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, my name's written Lamb Book of Life. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm not going to hell now. I'm going to heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you said that prayer, give Jesus the best hand clap. Jesus just saved your soul. You people out there, you YouTubers out there in uh, 
North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, right? Me and Betty Covey on YouTube channel. We got an address there. Emails. We have our email address on George and Betty Covey's channel on YouTube website. I thank Jesus for YouTube that we're preaching. We're shaking the nations for the glory be to God to 200 nations. We're shaking the nations. Thank you, Jesus. Our headquarters. In Pinkneyville, Illinois, least the Brother Ministry, pray for me and Betty. We'll be praying for you. Shalom. Have a good day. Many, many blessings. God bless you forever and ever in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus is the reason for season. It won't be long, two more months, that Jesus is the reason every day for the season, but the high holy days are coming up. And I love you. Me and Betty love you today. But most important, Jesus loved you first before we loved him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah.